What's up Gunplum Modelers? This is Strider Prime bringing you a new edition of Gundam Models and today I'm going to build this kit of course the G-Frames FA-01 46A and 46F ZGMF X-10A Freedom Gundam the armor set and the frame set from the Mobile Suit Gundam Seed animated series yeah, this is the next kit that I'm going to be building for the Summer of Freedom build that I'm doing right now. And uh, I've already finished one kit and I'm done with another. Now I'm going to be working on the sky. And uh, yeah, can't wait to open it. I kept on seeing this at Barnes & Noble every now and then I go there and um, I said, oh wait, I should get that. I said, oh wait, I forgot, I have it. Yeah, this is this is actually from the set, uh, the first um, FA series of set of kits that came out um, a, year, a little over a year ago, and um, yeah, I can't wait to build this. This one is the, now the set from this comes with, of course, the Freedom, the Dual Assault Shroud, the Alex, and the New Gundam. But the New Gundam comes with the two wing set. Yeah, I just sent one as a gift to the one of the uh, winners from my um, my contest that I did this year, so I hope he enjoys it. But this one is mine because I love freedom. Who doesn't like freedom? Let's open them up. I think okay, now we gotta open up this one right now because this is the armored set. Ooh, soda flavored chewing gum. I'll save that for later. Okay, put that there. Let me adjust the camera so we can all see it in a better angle. Plus, it'll be a lot easier with my arm. Here we go. Don't know if any of you guys have gotten your hands on this type of kit before. I know that the next set of kits that's coming out from the uh, G-Frame line will come with the Aerial. Alright, we're going to assemble this one as a, you know, by itself. So we have the leg goes here. This leg goes here. Um, okay. The feet goes here. There we go. And then we have. So it does the rail. Oh, okay, so just so you know, rail gun does. Sorry, didn't realize that. There we go. Sorry about that. I didn't realize the camera wasn't pointed. So this is fine, but as you can see, this railgun is is one piece, so you can't turn it. Pity, but it's understandable. There's so much you can do at this scale, unfortunately. There we go. This is not the best part of the of the kit, which is the leg assembly, but this is what you get. Let's bring 
that about. Then we have the backpack. And then the head. Here we go. Again, this. There we go. Stay right there. Stay right there. Alright, let's adjust the camera so I can see it. Detailed. See, not bad. This is very good. This is a good statue type kit. So, if, like, if somebody, I know that in Japan they they sell this individually. So you buy that, and that's fine. But then, if you feel like posing it, you buy the armor. But still, as a, as a statue. You know, put it on, on, on display on a, a wall or something, or on top of your computer. Can't go wrong with that. Very nice. I, I highly approve this if you guys get your hands on it. Of course, we're not going to leave it the way it is. We're going to put the armor on. So let's adjust the camera again. Put you over here. And then open up this box. Another sort of flavor gun. Why don't they make soda flavor gum here in the US? It is delicious. Alright, so we have parts that will make up the inner frame which we need to assemble. So this is going to be a pain in the you know what. We do have the wing assembly. We're going to keep that to the side for now. That's going to be later. Uh, and unfortunately, you're shit out of luck if you think you're going to get the instructions for this. You have to figure it out yourself. I believe that's the right part. So let's do this. And then do that. Take that. Take that. I think this is the one part that I don't like. Mm. That I need. Get up here. Yeah, because this one goes here. No. No. needs to be snapped in well. Alright, so that is the way. That, that, that part is done. Uh, I believe this is a forearm, but let me double check. Come on, get in there. Don't be a pain in the knee. Actually, give me this. I think that's wrong. Because I know that... Yeah, I think I remember that one of these is the connection... Yeah. So one of this goes there to connect to this. But I don't remember what, which one is what. That's one thing I... I, I was a, not fond of because you gotta figure this out. Alright. Let's assemble what we have and then we'll get to the others 
in a moment. Give me that. That's the arm that I know that's the arm. So this is the part of the leg. Oh, the foot. You know, um, as I'm assembling this, I'm gonna say that I also have I also have the um, full armor G frame um, full armor um, Cassatria, which comes with the leg the armored parts to put the Chobum armor on the that's the other way around on the um, uh, uh, Gundam Alex kit that also came with this series there we go that's fine and then I know that this is a connection for that You know what? Give me that. Give me that. Get that there. Yeah, because that is a round ball. Uh, and then that's the front part of this, so that goes there. Or not. Come on, get in there. this guy but I need to figure out this and how do you figure this out give me a, get all the parts out of here take them out That is that. That means that goes here or here. Aha! Now I remember. It's all coming back to me, I believe. the other way around. This actually kind of reminds me of, the, of that that shield um, that shield robot kit that I purchased a while back. So I'm gonna go the other way around this way. Yep, that's it. Yeah, how, now it's coming back to me. Am I doing something stupidly wrong? Let me think of something. Let me check something out here. Be right back. Alright. A bit tough to do on camera. But I also have to reevaluate videos like this. Whether I want to really commit my time trying to f force feed a part to get in there. I mean, granted, they're meant to stay there. Never coming off. And that's a bonus right there. Uh, let me see something here. All right, good. I'm get the fist here, but I need this for a second. Hmm. There we go. And I have a feel distinct feeling I'm gonna have to take some part, some of these off, so I can get the armor on. There we 
go. I might as well get the fence on. Neat. <laughs> the inner frame of the strike freight of uh, the freedom gun I keep saying strike freedom is done. So now that this is done, we're gonna take it apart. Oh, especially the stupid legs that just drives me nuts. This is easy of course. At least I don't have to take apart the head, that's for certain. That off, take this off, take that off, and that off. Then we have the back and this. I'm gonna take these off. Chest plate goes there, back plate. No, not that. No. Actually, it was stuck to this, so that's good. There we go. Alright, so the waist unit is done. No, I'm sorry, the torso and waist unit is done. Um, that's fine, we don't need to take this off, but we're going to take that off. And then we're going to Carefully, <laughs> carefully pull it the other way around. There we go. See, that's not bad. I like that. said before I had to take that off so I can squeeze this one there we go and I think yep we need to do that okay so that arm is done and then the other arm that in. Put that in here. And then the arm. That goes there. Now, let's see how easy I can put take this off. Uh, oh, that, wow. Now this is the one thing that I'm kind of a bit annoyed because you really gotta figure out how to take this off. So I don't know why they didn't want to use the same foot. I'm gonna take this off then. You have to use a different foot. In case somebody's asking, 
what's the difference between this and the regular um, full armor, the regular G frames and the GM full armor? The original G frames, the back part of this plate on the thigh and on the arm doesn't come with the kit. The full armor comes with the kit and maybe a little, maybe something ex else extra. Plus, this is a harder plastic, so. I also noticed something. This is actually, other than some some scar marking, some, you know, nub markings removed during the uh, molding process, it's a fairly clean kit. So if you want to paint it and detail it up, oops, I need that. No, I don't need that. What the hell am I talking about? Is that I need um, this. Um, it's a fairly clean kit if you want to detail it up and paint it. For those who built the artifact kits, the Gundam artifacts, which are a, a whole, you know, a whole level of building that if you ever got a chance to build one, they're amazing kits. But I, I found out that they, you can actually buy uh, photo etch parts for them at that scale, which is insane when you, when you look at it. I remember the, someone building and put, actually put someone, somebody put the uh, Dom Tropin at MosquitoCon this past, uh, this past April. Okay, we're almost done here. Here we go. All right. So now this goes here. And this goes here. Good. Now we take this. That goes there. There. Good. Freedom Gundam with its inner frame arm, uh, inner frame armor on. No difference is this thing will come off easily, but it is slightly poseable depending on how you want to pose it. Yeah, some parts are going to be a bit problematic, as you could see, but that's fine. With that done, uh, let's now get the main stuff ready. So let me open this up a bit. Wow, and, and look at how de well detailed the wings are. Oh, wow. That's actually really neat. The cannons can, can turn like that. You have to do it this way. They won't turn like this. So it's understandable that, you know, there are certain limitations that you can do with this, but that is still acceptable in my book
you can't fire all four guns, of course. Only, only three. And then you have the beam rifle that goes there. Yeah, take a break for a second. And then you have the shield. G-Frame Freedom Gundam is now complete. There you go. That is a neat kit. I, I did mention that I was actually thinking of painting it, but yeah, I'm okay with that for now. And um, I think we need to take, uh, let me see this part, we got to flip it around someplace. No, it's the other one. No, it's still the other one. I forgot how you did this the last time. Kind of busy. Here we go. This may be the uh, the stupidest base I've ever seen, but there we go. There's no hole in there. Oh yeah, there is a hole in there. There we go. And I know this is wrong. Very wrong. Just need to angle it a different area. How did I do this the last time? And I think I have a kit that I've already had this already set up properly. You know what? Screw you. Give me that. Give me that. Give me, give me this back. I have something better. See, if this was a model kit and it broke, I would have been pissed. But this one, at least it can take the punishment and not break. Alright. And that <laughs> I'm going to glue you. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to glue you because it's. I'm not, not going to play with you. It's going to make you look pretty. There we go. Stop right there. Stay right there. Don't move. See, I have something that I could use, which I ready to show off here. And that is the the FA version of the Justice Gundam, which I'm going to take it off of its backpack of its stand. And put this here. But this one's done properly. I, I, I'll figure that out and then I'll do it later. I just want to do this so I can do uh, that. There we go. Oh, so that's as far as it go with that, but I think that can go up there. I can go up there. That's better.
It's a shame it didn't come with the beam saber. Because if it did, then that would work. There we go. Yeah, I'm sorry, this took a little longer than I realized. I thought it would be quick and easy, but... Actually, let's bring it about a bit more so you guys can see a little bit more of this. Here we go. So we have Freedom Gundam and uh, Justice Gundam together again. And Justice Gundam is an FA line of the kit. So it has similarities to his uh, older brother. There you go. It's interesting enough that I have both the Master Grade version and, of both of these kits, which I'm hoping to get built this year if I can. But there you go. There you go. I would not pass this up if you guys see this at um, Hobby Lobby or, or, or um, Barnes & Noble. Or, um, um, yeah, Hobby Lobby, Barnes & Noble. I don't know other stores that may have it. But if you see it, get it. Just be forewarned, you will not get the chewing gum. Okay? So, that is my assembly of the Freedom Gundam, the G-Frames FA-01, 46A, and 46F from the Molsa Gundam Seed Animated Series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope, I'm sorry it took too long. And what can I say, but stay tuned for more Gundam models yet to come. You guys all have a great day.